folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Sonic 190 VRB. This particular model is in the brownstone interior. This is a great lightweight travel trailer if you're looking for a nice couples coach. This one has a huge bathroom. But let's start off right over here on the door side. Uh, you have a door side dinette, also known as the camp side. And I love when manufacturers can do this because this will be where you're eating your meals. You know, if you're eating breakfast, having your cup of coffee, you have a nice big window here so you can take a look out at your campsite, not stare out at your neighbors. Also, the table does drop down if you need additional sleeping space. You just take these legs out right here. You can see the rails along both sides of the booth dinette. Table drops down. You can take the cushions, put it on top, and that will create the bed here. Also, if you notice underneath, you do see there's an electrical outlet down there. So if you need to plug in a tablet or laptop, uh, you are able to do that right there. You take a look up top, some of the storage here, this is pretty cool. Uh, you see you have good storage on both sides there, which is nice. And then another cool thing they do is right on the end here, they call this a tech box. It blends in with your counter or your uh, cabinets right there. But you open it up, you see you have some shelving space, uh, also a plug-in. So if you need to plug in your cell phone, you can plug it in right there, tuck it away, that way it doesn't clog up your countertops. The other cool thing I always like about uh, Sonic is the cushions themselves, these are made in-house. So if you notice, the opposite side here has this leather look. You can uh, swap this over. So if you want the leather look, you just trade where these are. You can do the same thing with the bottoms as well. Just flip that right over, you have leather. Uh, and that's pretty neat, you know, if you want to change the look up a little bit. Or maybe you're going to have, you know, grandkids coming over and they're sloppy eaters. And they're going to spill their ice cream. Just flip the bottom over, that way it's the leather side and it's nice and easy to clean up. Uh, LED lights here, you can see that. You actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach, which are a big deal, especially if you're going boondocking, because not only do these not put out as much heat as your halogens, but they also use a fraction of the power. Right up here is your multimedia center. This is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it right in there. And these are your cables. You'll just connect these to the back of your TV. Of course, mount it here on the wall, and those are your other TV connections. Also, if you take a look at the ceiling, a couple quick things. As I mentioned, LED lights all the way down. You can see your speakers here. Nice big skylight to light in a lot of natural light. AC unit here as well, so that way on those hotter days, it can stay nice and cool. Now, as I mentioned, this is a rear bathroom. Why don't you come on back and take a look? Because this is a huge bathroom, especially in a smaller coach. Right over in the corner here is the Neo Angle shower. Uh, one of the cool things I like about this is the doors. You can see they're in tracks. That way as you open the doors up and you're done showering, all the water just goes right down into the shower pan rather than all over the floor. You'll also notice here you have shelves, a hand wand, and a big skylight up top. Right over to the side here is your foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around. Then up above that you have these shelves here, makes a really nice linen closet, plenty of room there for your towels. Then this little space here up top as well. Again, LED lights, great lighting in here. Vent fan right there to help get the moisture out. And over across the way, you can see your big vanity. So huge vanity right here, uh, or good countertop space. So if you have a curling iron or um, you know a hair dryer or something like that, you can plug it in. You have space where you can set that down. Sink, of course, there storage underneath as well as your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage right up top. Now as you move over a little bit further, take a look at that. You actually have additional wardrobe space. When you have a bathroom that is this big, that's a big deal because that way you can hang clothes up there. You can actually get changed in your bathroom instead of having to get changed up in the front of the camper. So you take a look at the kitchen of the 190. Right here is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Go ahead and open that up for you so you can take a look. See you have plenty of room in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Moving over a little bit further, right up top, I want to show you the weight of the unit, 3,740 pounds. So nice and lightweight, easily towable. Uh, and then this right here is cool too. This is actually a convection microwave. It's not your standard microwave that you see uh, generally in campers this size. The convection is really cool. Uh, one, it cooks quicker, it's easier to clean, and because it's a space savings, it allows for more storage in other places, which I'll show you in just a minute. 
right over to the side here great pantry storage there uh, it goes all the way across here as you can see so i definitely love that if you have some larger food items you can stick them up in there right underneath the microwave is your hood uh, this has a light and fan on it of course and then underneath is the two burner cooktop you can see uh, this does have the glass cover on it as well so you're able to utilize this as prep space when you flip that up uh, that kind of doubles as a backsplash then you'll see your two burners here are recessed right next to that is your double bowl sink larger bowl on the left smaller on the right with the high-rise faucet big window here to let in natural light during the day LED light at night and something else I want to mention is this right over here uh, this is a great panel so uh, most of the times when you see this it's like a cheap wallpaper that you try to rub or clean and it just falls apart that is not the case here this is an actual panel so this is very easy to clean which is cool then right on the side over here you will see there's an electrical outlet so if you have to plug in a uh, coffee maker blender toaster that is the place you would do it now as I mentioned I talked about the space savings because you don't have your standard oven here you have the convection that allows all of this extra storage which makes a great place to be able to put pots and pans underneath here you have two full extension drawers those are nice and big ball bearing drawers uh, so you know that's almost essential so you have a place to put your silverware a place to put all your spoons spatulas things like that and then over to this side here you have a little bit of additional storage which is nice and uh, right up top here so you have a place to put cleaning supplies and then if you look right down below that's your water pump they made it super easy to access the water pump here which is very important especially when you're looking at winterization or for any kind of repairs and maintenance down the road now one of my favorite parts about the 190 is right up here i have a lot of people that immediately get turned off when they see a murphy bed but I'm telling you, Sonic has almost perfected it. It's super easy to set up, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. But starting off, the Murphy bed, the reason you want it, the big advantage to it, in a small floor plan like this, normally it's really hard to get a dinette and a sofa, but the Murphy bed allows you to do just that. So now you have another area to sit, uh, which is a big, you know, definitely, a, as I said, a big advantage during the day. So as you'll see, this is a jackknife sofa right here. It lifts up. You can see all the easy access storage right there underneath. And then to make this into a bed, all you do is you completely fold it out just like so. You'll take this right up here. It has the one center lock. You'll just unlock that. Drop this part down, one and two. And then you'll take the mattress and fold the mattress out. Now the thing I like about this uh, Murphy bed, normally the blanket here is on it. You can actually leave that made because the only place you're going to fold it essentially is right here when you put it away so the bed can stay made and that is a big advantage uh, when you're talking about a Murphy bed. Also if you see right up here in the corners you have a little shelf with some plugins there which is great. Standard plug-in on this side, USB port on the other. You also have a couple LED reading lights right here too in case you want to do some nighttime reading and a headboard. But as I mentioned putting it away is just as easy. You go just like that, one and two, then fold this guy and lock it in place and that's all there is to it. On both sides, you'll see you also have additional wardrobe space here. So nice place to hang your clothes in addition to the one that you saw in the bathroom. And up top, you have more storage. It does have a strut here, so it's self-supported, which makes it very easy uh, to open that up with one hand operation. Last thing of note, on both sides, you also have an electrical outlet. So if you have any cell phones or CPAP machine that you need to plug in, it is very easy to do it uh, in this camper. All right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Sonic 190 VRB. This one is in the brownstone interior. If you're looking for a great lightweight couples coach, this is one you don't want to miss out on. You have a ton of versatility with the Murphy bed, huge rear bathroom, and one-piece fiberglass roof. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.